Hi, this is Mark Ryan. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take a custom model, a custom Keras model that's been trained in a Colab notebook and import it into Vertex AI and test out the imported model in Vertex AI. Okay, we have uploaded the trained model from the local system into a, uh, a bucket in Google Clouds. Let's take a look and see where we've uploaded it. So in this bucket, we have the whole file system that has the, the model in it. And what we're going to do is create a model in Vertex AI based on what we've uploaded to this bucket. So we'll navigate over to Vertex AI within Google Cloud and come down here to Model Registry. And we're going to import the model. So we'll give it a name. We're going to call it tabular model one. We've got the region. This region should match the region that we had for the bucket. It is a TensorFlow container. The version that we want is 2.9. We're not going to get an accelerator. This is a relatively small model, so we don't need to worry about using a GPU. And now we're going to navigate into the structure here. There we go. And everything else should be the same. We do not need to worry about explainability. And now we're going to import it. And once the import is complete, we can see it here. It's been imported and it has a single version. So now we're ready to go to the next step to deploy it to an endpoint. So we'll select the version of the model. And we will click on deploy and test and deploy to endpoint. So we'll give the endpoint a name. Tabular endpoint one. The location will be the same. The machine type is the one thing we do have to select here and we'll pick something that is minimal. Again, this is a very small system so we don't need very much resources. And uh, we can continue. We don't need to do any monitoring, so now we can click on deploy. It'll take several minutes to deploy, and we'll return back once the deployment is complete. So now we can see the model has been deployed to an endpoint. The status is active. That took about, I guess it was about 12 minutes. And a great thing here is we can pre can test the model directly here. There is a very handy little so now we, we have reformatted the request here. So the data as it was originally sent wasn't formatted exactly the way that the model expected it when it's deployed to a, an endpoint in Vertex AI. So a couple of changes here. All of the values in the key value pair are now, key value pairs are now lists. There's a list for the overall item and it's introduced with instances. So now the uh, field here is turned blue, which means this is valid JSON right now. Let's send a prediction and see what happens. And there we have a prediction. Now you notice here that this value you would expect initially say, well, this is a value that would be between zero and one. It would be a probability that this particular uh, piece of real estate has a price that would be above or below the median for Kuala Lumpur. But recall that the actual, what's this value is fed into a sigmoid function that will result in the prediction value. So this in fact is a valid prediction from the model. So what we've done here is we've taken a model that's been trained outside of Vertex AI 
We trained in Colab. We've imported the model files, it load, uploaded them to a cloud storage bucket. We've then imported the model into Vertex AI via the model registry. And now we've deployed it to an endpoint and we've shown the endpoint is working correctly by sending requests to the model and getting a response back.